this is a fantastic planet, has nurtured not one or two life forms, millions of life forms. The sheer variety of life of animals, birds, plants, insects and worms that we have on this planet is mind-boggling. Our ability to gobble up the resources on the planet is too much. We exploited the land, we exploited the oceans. Our idea of life has become exploitation. From an atom to anything, we are seeing how to exploit. Every creature we have killed, everything needs to be protected. A fierce animal like tiger today needs protection because we have not found any other way, any other vehicle through which we can expand. We are naturally thinking, exploiting the physical resource is the only way to expand. Right now, our very economies are built like this, it's all about more, more and more. This means everybody has to buy more, everybody has to use more. But where is that damn more? We are on a exploitative mode, not by choice, by compulsiveness. The only and the only solution for this is consciousness. When humanity begins to operate out of consciousness, then compulsiveness will not rule us. When compulsiveness does not rule us, we will do just what is needed, nothing more, nothing less. We have to come to that place, otherwise if they give us another ten planets that we can live on, we will destroy all that in the next two centuries maybe. The only way, the only and only way, the ultimate solution is people start living consciously. It is good human beings who have forgotten that they are only an outcrop of this planet, human beings who have forgotten that they have just temporarily come out of the womb of this earth and one day they will be sucked back into this earth. For them, twenty-second of April is a reminder that you are a part of this earth, you have to think like the earth. If humanity has to live for a long time, you have to think like the earth, act like the earth and be the earth because that is what you are.